Millie! Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Working Class Music. I'm one of your hosts, Jason, and on this week's episode, we're checking out the brand new Melee by Walrus Audio. And if you want to turn this video into a fun game, just take a shot every time I say shoegaze. But firstly, as you know, I'm WCM's resident shoegaze enthusiast, so I was pretty happy and, for lack of a better term, enthused when I saw myself tagged in a couple posts about this pedal, imploring that we should review it and you know what my thoughts were on it. In particular, that group was uh, the Facebook page, Pedal Boards of Shoegaze. A huge thank you there. And also a huge thank you to the folks that were in my DMs on Instagram asking my thoughts on this. And the biggest thank you I should give for this shoegaze themed video is to Sweetwater because I reached out to them and they were kind enough to send this over and they made this happen. So thanks again to all our friends at Sweetwater. Now onto the Melee. The Melee is not only one of the WCM favorite games. I'm an ultimate guy. If you're not Nelson, the Melee is probably one of the better Super Smash Brothers games. It's not better than Ultimate. He prefers Ultimate. But now it's a wall of sound, shoegaze inspired pedal. Mixing distortion with super spacey reverbs, kind of like the old blood noise, screen violence, or the beautiful noise pedal when the sun explodes, both of which are pretty awesome in pretty different and if you're going for a more shoegaze aesthetic I would recommend those pedals as well and we have a video review for the screen violence but back to this what sets this pedal apart from all the other distortion reverb shoegaze pedals or any pedal in existence is the joystick but what does the joystick do the x-axis controls the reverb mix while the y-axis determines the intensity of the reverb since we're going into specs let's talk about the specs you get three different shoegaze-esque reverbs. One of them is the spacey ambient, the other one is the airy octave down, and the last one is the textual reverse. Think of uh, something along the lines of Kevin Shields. As far as knobs and switches, we got a volume knob, a tone switch, a decay switch, and you have a routing switch which determines the order that you're sending your signal to. What that means is you can either set it to go distortion to reverb or reverb to distortion. You also have a momentary sustained foot switch that ramps up the trails of the reverb when it's held down. So you can create a lush shoegazy wall of sound. It is functional with all three reverb types. Also, this is kind of the first pedal that I've seen that has had this unique feature. Three different bypass modes. You have DSP, True Bypass, and DSP plus True Bypass. That's it for all the settings and knobs and switches. So, let's get on to the sounds. Let's go with the spacey ambience first.
let's get let's uh, let's get a little bit more shoegazy. Here's the second reverb setting. Let's do the third reverb setting. Let Xander have fun with this. That's crazy. Yeah. Man, not a pedal that I would think to use, but it is a lot of fun to play with.
crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. I like it. Cool. Thanks, Sweetwater. All right, so uh, we're back from that shoegazy jam. So, first impressions and final thoughts? I'm Ron Burgundy. So, I'm gonna say this. Originally, uh, we attempted to film this video and I just ended up saying the F word a lot and storming out. Firstly, you have this very cool, dare I say, Atari inspired mix control, which the joy which, dare I, which control yeah, and uh, didn't go so well. So after that, I went upstairs and started jamming around with this because I was just gonna go cold turkey like Ryan and just like place it and just play it. I'm glad that I didn't. This pedal is fucking awesome. If you are a shoegaze enthusiast or you just like big walls of sound, this pedal is for you. If you can't tell, some of the algorithms came from the slow or it's very similar to the slow. And the slow is one of my favorite reverb pedals. So that packed in with distortion was awesome. It's definitely different from the screen violence and when the sun explodes two different pedals and now there's a third one. My favorite thing on this is the ambient setting. I think you can get some lush, nice tones and that's the first setting. The third setting is my second favorite because you can definitely get with that reverse reverb, you can definitely get very Kevin Shields, My Bloody Valentine-esque. The second setting, the octave down, that would be my third favorite. I like it. it, needs a little bit more for me to play around with. I like a little bit more control over it, but overall I'm going to give this the working class music My Bloody Valentine stamp of approval. Now, what I didn't like so much, the learning curve. There is a slight learning curve with the joystick. The only reason why is because determining the amount of drive to reverb can get a bit iffy and I'm curious to see how that plays out in a live situation. However, that's not to say I dislike the implementation of the joystick. I think it's actually super fun. That's really it, it's just the learning curve. Like, once you figure that out, this pedal is awesome. We didn't do it, but it is really cool paired with delay. I'm sure there's some other channels out there that have videos, you know, doing their own thing. And as someone who is a big shoegaze enthusiast, this is pretty much that sound in a box. Like, I'm gonna say this, Warris threw down the gauntlet for 2023, and I'm curious to see what happens next as far as other companies and what they decide to do. Maybe the joystick will stick around in other pedals because I think it'll be a very cool implementation and makes it on the fly easier to dial in and mess with settings. So yeah, other than that, I can't really say anything else. Again, thank you to Pedal Boards of Shoegaze on Facebook for tagging me in that post. And thank you for everybody that asked me in my DMs because I didn't realize <laughs> people thought my opinion was valid on this stuff, but kind of feel cool that people wanted me to do this. And a huge thank you to Sweetwater. They've always been so gracious to our channel, and I really appreciate the fact that they made this happen in less than like 24 hours. So other than that, thank you for watching this. If you haven't, you know, like, subscribe. We do have Patreon, we have merch. We're pretty active on social media, so we do have Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget, Use our affiliate link below and please buy this. Heck, just buy some picks, buy anything. Um, actually, I'm gonna use our affiliate link and buy some uh, J Mascus picks on Sweetwater because I think that'd be pretty cool for my small board. But anyways, we're gonna end this with, what's your favorite shoegaze record? Just let me know in the comments. And again, thank you and goodbye. Take a shot every time I say shoegaze, shoegaze and shoe shoegaze, 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 shoegaze esque, shoegazy, 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 shoegaze, 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 shoegaze record.